Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the GSA 120 Star Invitational. We have the semifinals match between Punkation and Blue Pub on our agenda today. I'm joined today by Simply. How are you doing, Bub? What's up, man? I'm doing pretty good. You know, it's been a gorgeous day here in Minnesota. The weather's beautiful. The race here between these two beautiful men is sure to also be just as gorgeous. I'm excited to see what happens. We've also got these gentlemen in the call. Pumpkation, how are you feeling? I feel I'm pretty confident. Um, as usual, I'm, the nerves are like kind of starting to kick in, but I'll manage. Okay. Pumpkation claiming, you know, we'll have no issues. Oh, yeah, I, I practiced DD 100. Oh, yeah. At the, at the end of the Liam King's race, yeah, you were kind of... <laughs> Dude, he, like, quit. He, like, quit during the Spaghetti Fest. Well, uh, Blue Bob, maybe maybe your plan is to maybe not quit while Punk is, you know, throwing spaghetti on the ground, I'm um, guessing. Yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely a solid plan. Try my best okay. not to quit. Uh, we'll see what happens. So what do you think? Is Punk going to be a hard opponent or not? Nah? Yeah, is this is definitely the first race where, like, I'm really not nervous because my expectation is to lose. So oh, okay. if I do win, it's a bonus, you know. But, going uh, in, going in really confident. I see that that was a Liam King strat. <laughs> no, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Like I'm definitely not near as nervous. I guess just because I don't know. I guess just my expectations are a little lower for myself. Yeah, All right, it can, it can help to relieve the pressure. But, yeah, yeah, aiming low to avoid that disappointment, you know. My best womp so far in the tournament lost like fifty four seconds or something, so maybe not being nervous will help with that. I I'm willing to bet you'll have a better womp's fortress than your last race. Eh, you never know. My first one was only five seconds faster in the like round one. I, I feel like I feel like you know you're preparing Punk A to make him think it's an easy race, but you're you're getting ready to you know maybe snipe him from yeah, behind. It's the mind games. <laughs> Mind yeah, game, yeah, the mind games it's... here are next level. Both players, you know, trading blows right now. <laughs> if you're not feeling that confident, I mean, we've seen two players so far in this tournament just like miss the carpet and they had to go back on it. So that could happen to me. It's definitely this, possible. This is, this is a very cursed invitational, so anything can happen. Yeah, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. It's been happening quick, and it's uh, it's been jam packed, full of fun and love yeah Absolutely. definitely love lots of love and fun in this one and i'm expecting the same this race all right well oh, awesome yeah. thank you guys for joining us for a little pre-game interview i guess we'll catch you on the other side good luck out there do your Sounds best good. good luck punky good luck yep have fun gents see you soon the sportsmanship you could just feel it these guys both you know just out here to have some fun play the game um but blue bob it's an interesting take right thinking okay i'm not gonna win basically yep. is what he said and it sounds bleak it sounds negative it's kind of like a pressure reliever though he's like thinking you know what i'm just gonna stick to you know what i do best i'm just gonna play and not think about anything else and uh you know when you're just thinking about playing the game and you're just playing the game and you have all those outside factors eliminated i feel like you usually end up playing better so Definitely true. Uh, will be helpful to not have that pressure. You know, Blue Bob could pull it out. Punky Sean did mention that the nerves are settling in. Could have some awkward mistakes. I mean, we saw Super Viper take Paracusia down, and that was that was kind of an upset. Yeah, that was an upset. Uh, you know, Paracusia fallen victim to the the carpet and Rainbow Ride. She is so five. Actually, did fall off the carpet. Uh, just, just on his race uh, about an hour ago, really? versus Fantax, yeah. But he still managed to pull out the win. Uh, it's it's happened to you know first seed, third seed. Maybe it'll happen to second seed, Punkation. Big pancake. Well, here we go. The countdown is happening. About to get this thing popping. Maybe hmm. locking. Popping, locking. Shoutouts to Blue Esports once again. Thank you so much for sponsoring this Invitational. Very much appreciated, and we are off. Yes, we Punkation are. Punkation versus Blue Bob. We certainly have a Japanese uh, dual face-off here. Both players are very familiar with uh, this version of the game. Going to be saving that time in 120 star over English. 
That's right. You got to do what you got to do. And, you know, picking Japanese version will net you a couple of cool seconds for basically free. Yeah. Basically. Not really have, you know, it's not like you have to, it's not like the game's any harder or anything. It's just simply a version difference. It is worth noting that the Japanese version has slower scrolling text. Mm -hmm. And if you're used to the U.S. version, um, because you would play it for 70 star because it saves time in 70, then you might not be used to the the pace at which the text boxes scroll, and you could actually lose that time due to unoptimal scrolling. But all right, two Lakitu skip attempts. So both using different methods, and uh, we're looking good. Both players getting it right away. We're still looking pretty synced. Uh, it looks like both players are opting to go for a Bob on Battlefield one. Uh, I do know that when they do attempts, they do usually opt for the um, lobby backwards long jump to get into Dark World early for their first star, but not going to be seeing that in this race. Probably a good decision. Uh, we haven't really seen anyone ace it yet, I don't think. Yeah, it, it's definitely, I mean, you'll see it in 16 star for sure, but in a 120 yeah. star. Oh, oh okay. Chain up in the air. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is he, he's top. switching. He's switching the bomb king. Uh, this might be a pretty good strat. Oh, and a bomb oh, it's down. Okay. Rage pause. More yeah. time added on. Uh, Punkation not starting off very good in this race. Blue Bob definitely accelerating into the lead by a good margin. Yeah. Uh, um, opts to do Wom's Fortress now. More of a traditional, uh, no LVLJ route. Punkation. He probably wanted to do the same route as Blue Bob, but I guess he probably just switched to this one on the fly. Yeah, I mean, we did see Punke actually opt for the uh, Bob on Battlefield 3 yeah, route versus Liam, so maybe this was his plan all along, but wow. Okay, Boo Bob, 100 coin attempt here in Mom's Fortress. It's really hard. He's going to try to make this moving platform at the top here while collecting as many coins as possible on his way. Yeah, the hardest version of the 100 here. Pretty much no room for error. Ooh, misses a, a coin. coin. Oh no, he's gonna miss another coin. Oh, okay, oh, he's just wow. gonna decide to do half cycle as a backup movement. Yeah, I feel like he could have actually gotten that if he went for the long jump, but. Yeah, but the problem is here, he already missed a coin, right? So if he missed the other yellow, like say he long jumped and he only got the red, he would be down one coin still. That's true. I, I think that would still be faster, but there is the risk with long jumping and slipping off. And of falling the... down, yeah. yeah. So like land on the on the moving platform like solidly can be kind of hard. Yeah, it's it's moving, moves quick. Blue Bob, otherwise pretty nice 100. He's looking pretty refined. He did mention that his best Womps time he lost like 50 seconds out of these races yeah. so far, which is kind of pretty crazy. So far he's off to a start Magnificent that far. Yeah, will definitely allow him to beat that time. All right, Punke, going for the Koopa race is pretty much locked into this uh, dragment route, probably, is uh, what we'll see is uh, Womp's Fortress. Oh, oh Punke okay, bonking. It doesn't waste as much time as it appears because the Koopa is, like, moving this whole time. Right. But, uh, yeah, he's still going to lose some of that time. Yeah, that... Getting over... Oh, no! Oh, Blue Bob with the buck run! Alice. Okay, a lot of dust there on the island wants uh, island wants to line it up very oh, well. Oh, no. no. Blue Bob starting to go into Red Bob territory. The timer might turn red for this boy. All right, and there's the Owlus that he so desperately needed. Now they're probably on about even playing fields um, with mistakes that have been made. It's rough, man. Owlus, I, I see Owlus cause a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. I hate to see it, but I mean, it, it really is a trick that doesn't offer a lot of wiggle room. Unless you use the Simp Owlus. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, shameless self-promotion again from Simply. I don't know when he'll stop. Probably won't. Just trying to get as much as I can out of these GSA tournaments. See if I can uh, cash in. Launch, yeah, launch a side career while it's hot. You know, might as well plug the SoundCloud as well. Make sure to follow me. Thank you. Punke, wrapping up Bob on Battlefield. Three stars. Got his act together. Um, had the mistake on the first star, but Koopa... Yeah, yeah he actually, had a couple small mistakes here yeah. and there. He still hasn't been looking, you know, solid yet, I'd say. Yeah, it could be working at, at those nerves out. Standard. Yeah, I mean, the way that he he's doing this, right, he has easier stuff earlier. Like, he has CCM instead of Womp's Fortress, which is, you know, comparably an easier stage. One of the easiest in the game, some would say. And uh, maybe that's a good 
good strategy, you know, to, to get warmed up and into that tournament setting. Well, That's actually a really good point. Risk. Last time when we saw him going for this route, we were like, what? We were, you know, kind of joking that he was doing <laughs> yeah. it as a, a way to hide the stomp fest um, of beating, you know, bopping Liam, which wasn't really the case, but. You know, it's funny to talk about, but that's actually a really good point. It could definitely be the fact that his nerves are a little strong, and with these easier stages, there's not as much worry with a lot of time loss. Like if he if you go into Womps nervous, that can be a, a big yeah. Issue. You're gonna you're gonna get wrecked usually. 100 coin Owlis, Cannonless, like any of those, and they're not forgiven. You mess up any of those stars, and you're looking at 10 seconds around. Or more. Yeah, yeah it, it depends on how you mess up, I guess. But uh, Blue Pop finishing up. Womp's Fortress, it, it was okay. Okay, with the jump dive. Oh, that double movement's jump so dives. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so good looking. Yeah, I saw him practicing that before. Recent development here in Cool Cool Mountain Reds. It looks so nice. And it, it doesn't really look, you know, typically an, an improvement will come around and you have to put a bunch of hours into it, grind it away, get the consistency down. But that strat doesn't look too bad. No, it also doesn't really change much, right? Like, it's yeah. just the ending of the star. Like, you just do jump, you just do another jump dive right afterwards. It's not that hard to, like, learn the follow up movement. Definitely. Blue Bob in the aquarium showing us his superior swimming skills. Very nice. I, I want to call it breaststroke, but it's underwater, so I don't know if that really qualifies, but it resembles a breaststroke I, the most. I don't know, because, like, when you're swimming underwater, like, you pretty much just swim like this, right? Kind of. Not quite as fast. Like, Mario, no. the physics aren't really lining up here. He's not experiencing a lot of drag from pushing his arms forward so much. Typically, you want to make use of the glide mechanic when you're underwater. But in this game, they're not really, there's not really much of a glide mechanic. You just keep pushing. Definitely see it in games like Banjo-Kazooie, though. Punky with a nice slide. Blue Bob, great aquarium. See a yeah. handful of players missing red coins there, but Blue Bob not falling victim to it. Notice how Blue Bob is actually two stars ahead right now of Punkation. Uh, the difference, of course, is that, you know, the, the stars that Punkay's done are, are longer than what Blue Bob's done so far at the very least, like right. uh, on average. So we'll probably see the star count. Uh, lead stick with blue bob until he has to go to dark world i think uh punkation will be heading there after cool cool mountain oh, oh a bonk on an invisible wall for punkation oh and blue bob getting in a fight with the eel eel not wanting to play nice gonna give him a gonna little bit of trouble air here no problem for blue bob that's exactly what he needs to do and Punkation on the CCM 100 coin slide. We did see Liam take a spill here yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that. So you know, he was kind of, he was doing it in Mario Cam, so. Yeah, it kind of looked like maybe intentional. Not really sure, but, you know, doing this slide in Mario Cam is definitely not a great move. But um, hopefully Punkay does not fall to the same error. That would be pretty sad. He, he's looking good. He hasn't missed a coin yet. He'll probably intentionally miss one here on this turn. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, okay. He gets all of them. So what happens now is since he gets 101 coins, it'll mean that, like, uh, one coin's distance backwards, uh, the, like, that, that's how oh. the back of the star will spawn. Punky tries to long jump at the edge, but accidentally ground pounds. He is certainly losing time here. The penguins already, you know, finished walking by now. Waddling. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Blue Bob missed a coin. Okay, that's pretty key. So... Blue Bob now cannot miss any more coins here for the rest of the Jolly Roger Bay. Wow, great clam red coin grab there from Blue Bob. Blue Bob's really starting to come together. He's looking pretty good. Yeah, an important thing about JRB 100 coin too is you don't want to waste too much time either because, uh, well, not only does it waste time, but there's there's a cycle with the ship uh, that you want to get on later. And ideally you want to just kind of like side flip on, but if he gets there late, then it'll it'll mess up his uh, entrance. We'll see what he's got. What is he packing? Okay, sliding all down. Pretty much the probably the easiest star in Cool Cool Mountain. It's pretty hard to mess this one up, although you do see it happen occasionally. Punky though, not gonna let it happen. Rolling the ball down, Re returning the snowman. Mm -hmm. I believe it's returning the body to the head. I think that's yeah, what's going no, on. Yeah, it's, it's the body. Good Samaritan. Honestly, Cuckoo Mountain's a feel-good stage, right? You save the little penguin. 
You have a you fun little race with the big together. penguin. Yeah, put the snowman together. It's pretty nice. You know, in a lot of levels, Mario's actually kind of disrupting the flow. You know, he'll beat the Wiggler. Or he'll take out the hands boss that's just chilling. But Cuckoo Mountain, it's cool. It's all yeah. cool. Punke beats the Bomb King and then humiliates the Koopa in a race. And then proceeds to stomp on the Koopa just to take his shell and take his coin. Yeah. It gets kind of violent. I mean, I'm surprised this is a kid's game after yeah, seeing I mean, some of that S stuff. Yeah, I mean, SL 100 coin? Man. It's a slaughter. Yeah, it really Lambs is. to the slaughter. Mario, for whatever reason, just turns into a death machine whenever he does any kind of movement. Diving? Basically, hitbox. He, he kills the enemies and he takes their money. And he moves quick. It's like the the win win win. Blue Bob, great cannon shot. I don't know if that was an instant cannon shot, but that was pretty much the the idea. That was cannon juicy shot. for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of oozing over here. Blue Bob, so, juicing it up. Ooh, Punk like a double said, firsties. Uh, you know, Blue Bob's gonna be keeping that star lead until probably he heads to Dark World because Punky has to do it now. Uh, Punk is more progressing through the game itself, uh, while Blue Bob is more progressing through, like, star count. Right, yeah, Punk is getting the keys, getting the longer stars. Yeah. Uh, it, it should be noted that Punk a, uh, if he goes to basement first, he should be ahead of Blue Bob because CCM takes a little longer than Womp's Fortress. That's so right. we'll, we'll have a we'll have a decent idea of where these players are at once they you know go back to Bob on Battlefield and start working on 100 coin and go to basement. But we won't know for sure until after uh, after Banish Cap and they go to BBH. Yeah, these routes are definitely not the uh, most lined up. I'd say it's really hard to tell what's going on because there's a lot of differences. But there's some some general cues you can take here and there. And Blue Bob swimming down to the bottom of this crater into the jet stream. No need for a metal cap as long as you can press A with a decent rhythm. You're good. Here we go. Blue Bob with a decent yep. rhythm. There's actually no need to press the metal cap switch in 120 star. Actually, we I don't think we've even seen anyone press the switch yet in the in the invitational here. Uh, what happens is when you go to get the uh, the secret star that's in the metal cap area, uh, if you if you go fast enough when it auto equips it for you, like in every single uh, cap stage, it'll auto equip the the cap for you. Like you see, Punkation automatically has it equipped. Um, if you like, if you get all eight red coins and the star before the metal cap runs out uh, in the secret area of HMC, then you just never have to get the metal cap at all. Everything else can be done with like precise swims or like cool tricks to like press a switch. Yeah, that, it's probably the least utilized um, out of pretty much every single star. You'll definitely see more use from the wing cap first and then vanish cap, pretty useful. Metal cap, basically useless for speed run. Yeah, metal cap, In fact, pretty much garbage. Ahead. Yeah, <laughs> it's no, it's, it, it's bad. Like you are wearing that thing and he for whatever reason, he floats to the bottom so slowly, and then he walks really slow at the bottom of water. Like, swimming is actually faster. It's a joke. It'd be cool if Metal Cap was actually good. Like, if he could do movement that he does above ground, basically underwater, then maybe we'd see it. Yeah, maybe we would see JRB, like, before upstairs. That'd be what pretty a last. Nice. Yeah, that'd be kind of nutty. Nice 12.7 from Bobby. That's the kind of time you want to be seeing. 12.7, 12.6. No mistake there. Going to be moving on to the big dark world. Punk A already has it cleared. Yep. Blue Bob now will need to take care of it after this wing cap star. Probably going to do the, the second slide after that, right? Uh, After wing cap? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably. But, Commentator uh, head in the clouds, just like Blue Bob. Dark World can be pretty scary for a race. Uh, hopefully, Blue Bob can you know keep it together. He did say that uh, he wasn't that nervous, so maybe it'll go perfect. We'll see. But if he dies there, it's certainly a big lead for Punk A if he can do this ship clip without dying. Okay, it took a while to clip. He's in there. Yeah, that clip yeah. is interesting. <clears throat> 
It's so also, yeah. like, getting into the loading zone is also, like, kind of finicky as well, even after you get the ship clip. Yeah, it's like a two-part series. It, it takes a... It takes a good amount of time to figure out the clip and then you gotta spend even more time figuring out okay how do I get into this loading zone but both players doing it pretty well Ooh, I'm getting a little bit rejected by the yield but it wasn't wasn't a huge deal okay so I'm gonna be starting on a JRB 100 coin now probably oh no uh, I guess he's going for the chests in the back of the stage, probably. Could be. Oh, looks like he's going for the jet stream. Jet stream. All right. I am wrong twice in a row. It's okay. We have our moments. But if you slip again, I don't know what I'll do. Might have to contact the GSA staff. Um, just for professional reasons, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. I would do the same for you. It's okay gotta keep each other accountable strive for the best most highest quality of content all right now punkation's going for 100 coins oh blue oh, bob, blue bob getting shocked could yeah. maybe still why do oh he's gonna go for the the poverty shake movement oh okay, okay keeping the angle camera. and that's pretty much definitely a... that'll work i'm pretty sure that was a normal cycle could be wrong but something deep in my gut tells me that that's what was going no on No double there. firsties from Boobob, but made it through Dark World without a death. That's pretty much all you can ask for in a race, really. Shoutouts to Panini Zach for the 50 bits. Very much appreciated. All bits, donations, and subs are, of course, helping to go towards this tournament's prize pool winners. Very much appreciated. Blue Bob with a spectacular toss into the bomb. Bowser looking kind of weak, honestly. You toss him into one bomb and he just flops over. You know, Mario... I mean, <laughs> I, I feel like if, if I were thrown face first into a, a spiky ball that explodes, <laughs> it'd probably hurt me too. I, I, yeah, I guess. And I'm... Okay, to be fair, he does... Ha he is a pretty big boy. And so that's a lot of weight coming down. I don't know how much the spike affects him though, because it seems like the bomb explodes pretty quickly. So yeah. it could be like uh, as soon as he touches the spike, maybe it doesn't hurt him too much. But it still doesn't add up to the fact that when Mar Mario can just like jump into those bombs and he just takes a couple points of damage. Mario a little bit OP, some might say. Yeah, there aren't really one shot kills in Mario. Oh, blue bomb slipping down the slope. It's only if you like fall off a stage will you instantly die. Pretty much. I mean, technically, you could get one shot by flame if you time your A presses perfectly while hopping. It's a really weird mechanic, but it's a thing. Blue Bob grabbing the big old Bob Omb King. Punk A with a pretty decent 100. So Blue Bob, his Bomb King, at least from what I've seen, is uh, going uh, quite a bit better than what happened with Punk Asian in, in Bob Omb Battlefield. Uh, you know, we could we could see a lead develop for Punk A in the in the early game and going into basement but he still has to knock out womp's fortress where blue bob has that much harder stage done already oh punk a beautiful instant cannon shot no problem saving some nice time just an interesting thing to point out in the in the route differences here is that blue bob is probably you know more difficulty done with his yeah. run so far yeah, Cool Cool Mountain, um, almost certainly easier. There, I mean, there are moments that you can fall and lose some time. But, I yeah. mean, even if you fall and wall kicks will work, that's only like 10, 15 seconds, and that's something that you can just as easily lose in WOMPs. Okay, with a nice punch clip here to get into the cave. Doesn't save as much time as you'd think, but it does look pretty cool. Yeah, it does, and it's really easy. Might as well. Wow, bomb getting deep on Blue Bob there, but not gonna take him out. Wouldn't waste any time anyway. Has to wait for the Koopa to get all the way back to the top here. It's kind of, it's kind of mean. You do two laps to the top in the time that it takes Koopa to do one, and you still wait. Yeah, you could probably fit three in if you really wanted to. You have to be going pretty quick. Uh, yeah, that has to be really fast. You'd have to do, like, uh, as soon as you get out the teleporter, jump back down and teleport up again, sort of thing. 
Uh, using, the, using the teleporter would probably be bad, right? Because while you're using the teleporter, I don't, I don't think Koopa moves. Oh. Alright, Punk A, playing with the eel here. Very nice star get for Punk A. We'll be finishing up Jolly Roger Bay now and probably heading to Bob on Battlefield soon. Yep. He needs to get his wing cap on. And uh, he has at least one more slide. I think it's just one more slide. So we see what appears to be a lead for Blue Bob, um, but, you know, obviously he doesn't have CCM done, but he does have Womps done. We'll see uh, the, the real difference, I guess, happen after Vanish Cat, because I, I don't know. Uh, in, in the race against Liam, we saw Punke still with the lead in, in Bob on Battlefield, so we'll really get to see the, the route difference in the mid game here if Blue Bob can hold it together. Yeah, Blue Bob holding it together quite nicely, I must say. Uh, not any notably bad mistakes. He had a little bit of a rough time in Womps, but since then, he's been smooth sailing. Yeah, uh, well, Punky had the same problems in Bob on Battlefield, too. So, uh, that's why we didn't see Punky, you know, close the gap massively or anything. Looks like he's starting off with 100 coin, but Blue Bob likes to opt for the sky jumps first. Kind of just a, like a preference thing, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, what, do you, what do you think? Sky jumps first or 100 coin first? I, I'm personally a 100 coin first kind of guy, but I never really tried sky jumps first. It's just what was always done. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll do 100 first. But I, I'm interested to see how it feels. Because I was skeptical about doing shifting sand land and basement before Hazy Maze Cave. But do, I definitely prefer that. So I'd give it a try. So an interesting to notice, like, Blue Bob goes for the punch on the first box on 100 coin, but Punky goes for the ground pound. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I feel like just a move like that kind of shows, like the difference in in mentality. Like Punke doesn't want to worry about it, but Blue Bob feels confident. I guess about oh. it. Oh, he falls off trying to jump with the shell over across the gap here. Ooh, yeah. He rides the plank. <laughs> Walking the plank, man. That invisible wall is a very big pain in the behind. You really don't see it that often, so unfortunate that Blue Bob hit that there, but. Still getting 50 he, coins in the cannon is pretty good. Yeah, he recovered nicely from that. Got right back up there. Got the dust off of his shoulder. I didn't see how many coins uh, Punky got, but it looks like he is skipping a pole. Blue Bob with a healthy he had, amount of coins. 60. He had, he had 77 going to the poles, which means that he needed a box if he wanted to skip the one of the poles. Punky uh, with the perfect amount of coins here. Blue Bob, though, coin nice. his coin count, very, very nice. Oh, and great and decent RNG, I guess, from the Goomba. That'll work. Okay, Blue Bob making it happen. And Punky wrapping up the 100. Blue Bob gonna be right behind them here. Punky still needing to do the Sky Jump Stars, but Blue Bob will be free to go to the basement right after this. I feel like your ability to adjust on the fly really shows in Ball on Battlefield 100 coin. Yeah, there's a like, lot of reacting. Like, what pull are you gonna go for now? How are you gonna chase that coin? Are you gonna kill the Goomba instead? Like, it's, it's a lot of decision making in a very small amount of time. Yeah, there's Bob, at least a million possibilities. Bob had a really nice uh, ball on Battlefield just in general. It was just that, that one problem with the shell jump. And yeah. now he'll be heading to basement. So, uh, shifting sand oh. You know, one of the hardest stages in the game might even be the hardest stage in the game. We'll see if Boobob can hold it together here. Yeah, I think, I don't know who it was. I want to say it was Punke who recently touched on the idea of hardest stage. And he, I, I remember him saying, Shifting Sandland and Hazy Maze Cave are definitely hard, but he thinks that the tippy stages, Tick Tock Clock and Rainbow Ride are the hardest just because of the nerves. But I think if you aren't factoring in nerves, I if would agree. If we're just talking about like, mecha land. like mechanically, like what, what stage. Oh, oh. okay, this is a secret. You have yeah. to find a circle here. That's another few seconds gone for him. I'd yeah. say that uh, their Bob on Battlefields looked about par then. Like Blue Bob's fall and Punky's secret miss. Oh my goodness, that, that bubble. 
Wow, Blue Secret Bob Agent very... Bubble. Okay, Blue Bob trying to trying to make Pillarless work here. Maybe nice not. adjustments from Blue Bob to make it work. It's that's really scary when you um when you're like on the the wrong side of the pyramid like that and you want to try to get in. Yeah, got it. You got to know your game well. You got to know where the hole is. Mm -hmm. Blue Bob with the hole in one took a couple attempts on the ground pound, but made it happen. So now he's gonna be getting Al or no, not Alice, the top was done with. Sorry, mix up my lessons. Uh it's gonna be a pretty annoying star. I kind of agree with doing it second. Good to nice. just get it out of the way, not worry about it. Yeah, Blue Bob is cooking up something nice here. Um It's definitely not a bad run by his standards, for sure. To get pillarless and topless like both in a row. After having like a good Bob on Battlefield, that's gonna be a confidence booster for Blue Bob. Definitely riding the, the wave right now. Funkation also doing pillarless oh, definitely quite a bit faster than Blue Bob, so that's some time save for him. Yeah, a couple of cool seconds picked up by Punke. Along with that Mips punch grab, he's he's he is uh hot on Blue Bob's trail. I wonder if we'll see a uh, different star order. It looks like we will see the different star order. Uh, we're going to both see them doing Talon right now. Obviously, Boobop has that top of star done. Uh, pretty much, this just means that Punkation likes to get red coins done before he likes to do topless, and Boobop likes to do it the other way around. Oh, narrowly missing that coin, but... Sorry, star. You typically see players, if they miss a star, they can never get that ground pound underneath afterwards. They're yeah. usually just a little too frazzled, and they do some big jump, so it's like a double burn. But Blue Bob, keeping it contained, able to get the ground pound, and Punk. All right, Punkation, yeah, going for red coins here. Blue Bob almost certainly going to be doing it at the same time. Nice speed slide kick. Man, that looks so good. All right, Punk A, definitely looking a little bit faster right now than, than Blue Bob. Gonna be opting for this new route. Uh, speed looks a little low for for Punke. Boobob opting to do the older route here, though. So yeah, Punke should be able to net some time save, even though he has the low flying speed right now. All right, Boobob getting oh, that trouble down. Punke in the water. Yeah, Punke looking maybe a little sweaty here. Shifting Sandland is a hot stage. Okay, he misses the coin. Looks like he might have almost slid off the ledge there. Keeps it controlled though. Blue Bob, you know, going for an easier route, but executing better. Yeah, I don't know how far apart they were when they started that, but it didn't seem like Punke really gained any time on no. Blue Bob. Well, Punke had a de uh, like a better opening than Blue Bob for sure, getting to the first red coin, but Blue Bob, it seems like he, he was about par for the course throughout the rest. Yeah, that new route that's now being done definitely looks a little bit more technically challenging. Yeah, for sure. Blue Bob now doing 100. Punky taking care of top list. Let's see how this arm. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Beautiful that is arm. so nice. Yeah. Maybe Blue Bob just decided, you know what? The new red coin, not worth it. It's just, you don't want to have like too much to worry about in, in Shifting Sandland. Maybe his priorities are elsewhere and it looks like it could be paying off. No big mistakes for Blue Bob here in this stage yet. To get through SSL without any big mistakes, that's, that's a massive confidence booster. Yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, both players doing pretty well right now. Beautiful dive rollout. Blue Bob, he is destroying this one. Yeah, he is, he is really grooving right now. Ooh, oh, wow! Fire. Okay, yeah, the Talon getting right in the way. One Talon. punishment from Blue Bob. Blue Bob has bopped the bird twice now. Nothing can stop this man, not even Talon. All right, we're in the pyramid. A couple tricky parts here, but I'd say the hard part is mostly done. Yeah, uh, at least we think it is. Okay, a little sluggish. A little Let's bit of difficulty in, in the pyramid. We probably won't see any big spills here from Blue Bob. We might see difficulty on these five points here uh, below the monkey bars. But I don't know. Let's see what he's got. Maybe a jump dive, single jump, single jump. Okay. Oh, okay. Misses, he misses one coin, but oh, okay. He's got it with the kicks. That, so, was, that was really smart. Punky probably going to save time in the pyramid. I know he has practiced it a lot. 
but uh, you know, I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, Punky's got some pretty solid pyramid strats. Can definitely make up some time here on Blue Bob. But Blue Bob, still, he's holding his own. Like, obviously, Punky, you know, higher seed, has been in the game longer. But Blue Bob putting up a fight. Yeah, he's looking like a, a serious force to be reckoned with. Any big mistake for for Punky, Blue Bob is definitely looking like he will ca capitalize on that. Typically, you can see players be able to run with the wolves in lobby, you know, keep up with them. But once mm -hmm. it gets to basement, it's you really start to see the disparity happen. But still, Blue Bob making it happen. But look one, at that beautiful note, jump dive from Punky. One thing to note in general, Punky's basement, I think that he goes for harder strats too, like HMC BLJ, like the pyramid movement that we saw the red coins and SSL. So both players doing well still nets Punky the advantage because if Punky doesn't make any mistakes, he'll just passively save time with the strategies. That's so, right. uh, you know, it's it's really like Blue Bob's probably hoping for Punky to mess up here somewhere. That's a general idea, I think. Yeah, Blue Bob. All right, H HMC 100. Let's see what he's got. Red coin. Okay, he wants this one now, too. Oh, very nice. Nice. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's all good. Um, but Just adding on to what you were saying, Punky's he's got the strats. Despite yeah, he really Bob, does. even if he's playing at his very best, Punky could make some mistakes and still be on par, if not saving some time. Yeah, that's the, um, that's the challenge, right? When you're... Oh. When your PB is is worse than the other players you're basically you're either hoping for you to play better than you normally do or you're hoping for the other person to mess up man rng has not been treating blue bob too nice in this 100 he has lost at least a couple of seconds yeah he really has all right hmc blj for the 100 coin attempt for blue bob what has he got that looks pretty good to me oh that'll work nice oh, yeah, that was really good. Punky doing really well on the first part of HMC 100 coin. Uh, did not screw up anything oh. there. And again, the RNG. Yeah, Blue Bob's actually really getting destroyed here by luck on this star. It, it kind of finds its... Uh, honestly, the, the game finds its way of like balancing it out, I feel like, over the course of one run. So maybe we'll see like a really nice SL 100 coin for Blue Bob, perhaps. That would be pretty good for him. That would be nice. We'll see right. if uh, Karma is a thing. Wall kick attempt here. He did fail it in his last race and did have to, you know, do the ground pound. Oh, hey, nice blue go. coin RNG. All right, Punky on the BLJ. Oh, he did not Bob get up there. Failed. That is the opening that Blue Bob probably hopes would happen. Definitely. Somewhere in basement to, to Punky Shin. This is big. Having an that extra that is some big time loss right there. I, I want to say 15 to 20 seconds. Got to wait yeah, for the elevator big. all the way up. Oh, he falls oh, down again. He has to wait for oh, it to go all the way back down. Blue Bob okay. definitely accelerating way into the lead. Uh, Punkation, even if he, if Blue Bob like plays normal, uh, all the way through to BBH, we probably won't see Punkation catch up to him by then. Uh, even if he nails all of his hard strats, I feel like Blue Bob can really like ride this wave. Yeah, all he needs to do is keep it in his pants. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, Blue triple Bob let kick does flop. not go over the wall, or triple jump off the box does not go through the wall. Uh, Christmas Miracle will be a good backup star here. Okay, that's only a few seconds lost, honestly. You know, he fails the triple box jump, but uh, he's still moving towards the door that he opened. Yeah, Punky dropping uh, a meatball while oh, Blue Bob Eyeball, drops a Oh, not interested in Punky. Wastes, uh, you know, a good amount of time there. RNG does find its way of, you know, evening things out for the players, usually. Oh, and wow, that blue coin RNG is a dream. Goosey, yeah. All right, triple jump off the box for Blue Bob. Does work, second try. He's gonna be getting beats in the cavern before Metal Cap Reds. Might be more worried about, you know, having too much speed and dying while going to the star. So wants to get that out of the way first. You can kind of like hold back more when you're going to Metal Cap than you do for uh, Beats in the Cavern star. 
Yeah, don't need to worry about it as much. Could still, you know, keep could the happen. same level for speed purposes, but it's not a huge deal. All right. So, Boobob did struggle. Okay. Uh, we see Punkation uh, doing HMC BLJ here. This could save, you know, up to six seconds over what Boobob is going to do. Looking pretty good. Oh, no, but he oh! drops it at the end. This is not good. Uh, Punk A going to be doing a backup. All right. Now, okay. That angle, not the best. He can get a piece in the cavern, though. Blue Bob trying to skip Metal Cap. We did see some difficulty from the first triple box jump from Blue Bob, but he did hold it together. Got the other two, uh, you know, uh, other two box jumps first try, so that's very good. Punk A losing a whole bunch of time going for HMC BLJ and then not getting it. I wonder if he'll go for it again. I feel like since it's his norm, he'll probably keep doing it. Yeah, I think he's going to go for it again. Wants that payback. Wants to show yep. us what he's made of. He got it no problem last time. Might have okay. been going for it there. He's doing Metal Cap now. I, I think he just failed to clip into the room. Yeah. And it's then... kind of a weird little thing. Yeah. Oh, Pooh oh, falls off trying to do the Toxic Maze Cup. He will do Watch for Rolling Rocks as a backup star. Pretty good idea. Yeah, this can work out. Struggling a decent amount on the Toxic Maze star. Yeah, Hazy Maze Cave, definitely proven to be more difficult for these players than Shifting Sandland, although arguably I, I might say that Shifting Sandland is a little bit harder, but um, they're hard in their own ways. Yeah. Do you think that Punk Ape will go for HMC BLJ again after failing it once and he doesn't have any backup stars if he fails the clip into the elevator room? Uh, okay, if, I, if we were looking oh, at the clip, clip in here. Clip. That's a few seconds gone. Yeah, so if Punk Ape does go for the BLJ, they actually will be pretty close to even, I think, here in Hazy Maze Cave. I mean, Punk Ape lost a lot on the BLJs for the 100. And it looks like he actually is going to go... F eh, nope. He's going for right. Toxic Maze. I feel like this is the smart decision, because if he fails to clip into the elevator room, he loses so much time. Uh, he would have... He would have Christmas Miracle as a backup, though, I think. Yeah, I think if this was run, Punk A, like, if he was in a run, he'd be like, all right, I'll go for it. If I don't get it, I'd reset kind of thing. As, well, as if, if he would have run already Punk reset. A, he would have reset already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but... Um, race Punk A, coming through, the alter ego, uh, making the right decision. You know, it can be fun to get it in a race, it looks cool, but ultimately you're trying to win the race. And yeah. you could seriously cause some damage to that goal if you do not get the BLJ. I think, BLJ. That, I think that stubbornness in races is probably not a good idea. I, I like Punk A's flexibility. Yeah. All right, and Blue Bob has wrapped up Hazy Maze Cave, talking to the Toad, getting the star, moving on. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I'm just uh, I was just gonna say, if something's not working in a race, you should probably, you know, do something else instead, because you could conceivably, you know, fail the same thing for minutes if it's just not going well. Definitely. Fall into a, a loop. Like, we've seen that. We've seen players, like, die five times to Lakitu Balance in tournament races just because they're too stubborn to do something else. Yeah, sometimes you gotta swallow that pride. Might not be the tastiest thing. Might not be the most nutritious thing. Mm -hmm. But it's part of a balanced run and a race. So crucial. All right, Boobob is in Lethal Lava Land. Uh, getting out of HMC does feel really good. Into, eth into Lethal Lava Land, you know, big, no big mistakes here probably. One of the more consistent stages, if not the most consistent, I'd say. It's definitely up there. I mean, you'll see runs lost to it. And actually, I think Chizo5 recently mentioned that Lethal Lava Land was uh, a stage that's been causing him a lot of trouble, funnily enough. But I, I feel like it's more of a mental thing. Like, by, by default, if we're talking strats, if we're talking practice... Like the mechanics of the stage. Yeah, they're, they're not, not too complicated. There are some harder strats that are now coming out, actually. Yeah, there are. Lava Land that like will... the big bully and the small bullies. Yeah. And those optimizations, I think, will turn Lethal Lava Land into a less consistent stage, but definitely faster. But over time, you know, you grind the strats, you do the thing. Uh, yeah, and then it falls, you know, back into normalcy again. I think just for a while, while people are doing new strats, it'll get harder. It feels like mistakes in Lethal Lava Land, at least in 120 Star, aren't punished that heavily unless you die. 
Like, you boost off the lava, you lose a couple seconds. It's not a big deal. Whereas if you fail movement in other stages, like something in Tippy, you could just die and lose like 20 seconds. Ooh, I'm having that nice uh, hot log rolling there. Punky doing the same star right after. Let's see if you can get maybe a little more speed on its triple jump. Looking about even. Yeah, that was about the same. Uh, you want as much speed as possible when you do your triple jump. That way you have uh, more fly speed on your way to the fence there. You definitely want that fly speed up. Bob starting on his lethal lava land, 100 coin here. It's uh, probably one of the easier 100 coins in the run. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of a unique 100. Typically 100s, if you make a mistake, it doesn't really affect the rest of the star. But in lethal lava land 100, if you mess up one part early on, it kind of throws everything else out of sync. The bullies will get in your way. The eyeball might not be pointing in a similar direction. There's You could break your shell. Yeah, it can cause some problems, but Blue Bob with some nice shell shredding. Yeah, definitely. Getting these coins it, quick. Most players also leave uh, the elevator tour as well, in case, you know, they accidentally break their shell at the beginning or something. That way they can just go in there as a backup. That's Pretty right. Smart decision. Yeah, there's some weird things that could happen. Uh, there are some invisible walls that will break your shell. And if you break your shell, doing it on foot is very slow. So having that back up in the volcano is super nice. Definitely the safe strat. And it doesn't really lose you time to have a backup star. It's not mm -hmm. like it's a big deal. All right, Boobob going to be doing that uh, elevator tour star we were talking about here. Did leave it as his backup. Same with Funke, though. He's flying. Blue Bob in his element right now. I know, I, I want to say he's been playing lately, been uh, warming up, getting that rust down. I, I don't know if he's been playing consistently for the past couple months, but he's definitely getting back into the swing of things. And... Yeah, he's been playing. He's been streaming. Showing off the goods here. Kind of okay, weird that going all Blue Bob looking, looking the most comfortable in a red stage. Is that a play on his name? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> he said he was looking like Red Bob earlier in Wand Fortress. <laughs> Maybe he was just calibrating himself for Lethal Lava Land. Blue Bob with the quick recalibration, able to efficiently thrive in any environment, um, showing us what the meaning of natural selection and evolution really means. Okay, Punk A, massive triple jump. Oh! Ledge grab. Yeah, that... <laughs> It's so funny when you see a mistake like that, and then it just kind of compounds. First the triple jump, then the ledge grab. Yeah, it's because he, he, he like had a different angle and different position than usual. Different speed. Yeah, Mario has a lot of adjusting because if you if you mess up even a little bit, like you have a slightly different angle than normal, it means that you have to like do something a little bit Ooh. differently. Boo Bob missing the early Ellie's here will slide all the way down. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Hit an invisible wall. You gotta watch out. Okay, nice, nice jump kick. Yep. Uh. uh Oh, okay, so we've seen the double jump kick back up there from some players, but Blue Bob either not aware of it or not comfortable doing it. Definitely taking some time loss here in Vanish Camp. I think that, you know, going for some Ooh, safety side after you mess up the cycle here for Vanish Camp is a good move. And Ooh, he gets the get Siglemic! Very nice. I don't know, is it still the Siglemic if you do side flip? Uh, I, I think... Yeah, I'd say the well, side uh, limit maybe. I get. I don't know. That's a good question. It's like the the philosophical question about like if you have a an axe from your grandfather and you replace every part, is it really still your grandfather's axe? And, you know, not doing the triple jump off the button anymore, doing a side flip and different cycle movement. Yeah. Is it really still siglemic or is it cheese? Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't it's know. Cheese, theme, cheese, cheese doesn't even do the side flip, so. Oh, that's true. That's true. It's unknown. Well, it's up to speculation. Maybe maybe the chat can decide for us today. What will we call this new ending? All right, chat. The power is in bits. your hands. It's great power. With great power comes great responsibility. Please choose wisely. The weight of the Super Mario 64 community rests on your shoulders. Punky, 
Nice vanish cap. Going to be making that early cycle that Blue Bob unfortunately was not able to make. Saving some good time here over Bobby. Yeah, what is he going to be doing here for the ending? Okay, he's just going to be doing the triple jump here. Side foot's off the elevator. And okay, no he, he, he's going for this Glemic here. Yeah, will he get it? Siglamic! Good job, Punky. Punky, the legendary gamer himself. I don't know so how now we have we have Blue Bob and Cool Cool Mountain, but I think uh, Punky will just go straight to uh, Big Blue's haunt. No, no, he's gonna do Wom's Fortress now. Okay. okay. He could have done it uh, right before upstairs if he wanted to as well. But this is nice, doing it for our viewing experience, possibly. Yeah, we'll, we'll know who really has the lead after these stages. That's right. Because after this, both of them will be going to Big Boo's Haunt. They will have the same exact stars done. Yep. And I don't know, from what it looks like, it actually looks really close. I, I think that Blue Bob yeah. does have a lead. Oh, see, oh! Punkation fails Alice. This is the thing about having Wom's Fortress later in. It is a harder stage. So while Blue Bob, you know, gets to capitalize on the easier Cool Cool Mountain, Punkation might be struggling with some of these harder stars. Yeah, it's it's really weird seeing Womps so late in the run. It's just you're it's, I'm so accustomed to seeing it early on. You know, you see the resets, whatever. But in the middle it, of the run, it could be a good idea for attempts. Actually, like you just don't get stuck in Womps all the time. Maybe. Yeah, but I I don't know. Speedrunning has a weird way of working itself out. It's like no matter what you start on, you're just gonna find. You're a way. still doing everything anyway. Yeah. Like, you'll, you'll have higher standards because you're like, okay, these are easier stages I'm starting on, so I'm going to be more reset. Like, you know, I'm not going to accept yeah. as much mistakes. A lot of mentality. It always comes so, back to the mentality. Congation starting on uh, Wom's Fortress 100 coin. This is pretty much the last one left of, you know, the, the holy trinity of Wom's Fortress stars, which you can screw up. Let's see what he's got going on here. This is looking pretty good. Should be able to make the cycle with this. All right, Ooh. definitely saving. Oh, oh no, but he ground pounds trying to long jump off the platform. I was yeah. gonna say definitely saving time over Blue Bob, but not after that. <laughs> yeah, and now the piranha plant is snapping at him. Won't go back to sleep. Please take a chill pill. There it goes. Okay, Blue uh, Coin almost going off the edge for Punk A. But does manage to grab it. Blue Bob is on the CCM side, does miss a coin, but if he doesn't miss any others, he should Oh, Punk, I had the bomb crushed bombo. by the Thwomp. Yeah. Wom's That's... Fortress is really destroying him. This decision that he made to do Wom's Fortress late, um, I, I don't know, might be biting him in the butt. Maybe he wasn't ready for for Wom's Fortress after Lethal Lava Land. Like, the, the pacing of the run is all off when you do a different route, I think. He probably just wasn't ready mentally for this stage yeah i mean it's obviously not a route that he does and runs so it's going to be a different feeling and he's not really adjusted to it like you said punk a jones because i feel like the midsection of the run in 120 star is more of the kind of feel good section you know you have ccm bbh usually isn't that bad Lethal oh punk a doing a dance on the tree showing us his bad. moves so now it's Punkation has to go from, like, 0 to 100, you know? Going from, like, Lethal Lava Land through, like, Vanished Cat Mom's Fortress. Now it's, like, a... I feel like that's, like, a lot more mental energy exp expended. Yeah, Punky in turbo, and his turbo is a little bit faulty. Might need to go into the engineers, uh, go to a Jiffy Lube and get lubed up. Perhaps get the oil changed. Could use some new tires. Maybe a tire rotation. <laughs> But Blue Bob's certainly having the lead here, going yeah. into the midsection of the run. Yeah, Blue Bob's lubed up. He is sliding around, slippery, buttery smooth, brand new rims, brand new tints. And he's out of there. 100% confirmed, Blue Bob in, the, in lead. the lead. Yep. Incredible. I wonder how many people expected Blue Bob to have the lead over Punk A going into BBH. I, I'd, I'd imagine that uh, you know, not as many people thought Blue Bob would be ahead of Punk A. Yeah, 50 minutes in, this is not really what I was, what I was expecting. This is, this is this is some really solid gameplay from Blue Bob. He's going off. Shout out to Super Awesome 13 for the sub, Bob. Welcome to the Clock Club. Clocking in. 
Yes, he is. For some sub love and action. All right, we are in Big Boo's haunt, and this is a little bit scary. No pun intended. There's a lot of ghosts. There's a lot of places you could fall. There's a piano. There is a scary piano. That's always what's brought up typically in these chats. The piano scared me as a kid. You're ruining my childhood. All right, uh, Boo Bob's not even a, a full Boo's haunt uh, ahead, so or like Boo hunting star. Punkation definitely has room to catch up. Yeah, I want to say it's about like a, maybe a 15, sorry, like a 30-ish. 30, 30, 30 probably. Which is pretty, it's a pretty sizable lead, but it's, 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 it's nothing that he can't sleep can't on. Recover from. Yeah, Blue Bob needs to stay diligent if he wants to keep this lead. I wonder, uh, you know, if both players are, are are vigilant and they're aware of how much, you know, they're in the lead or behind, I wonder uh, who would be more stressed out, like maybe Punky, like I really got to get it together to catch up, or is Blue Bob maybe worrying, like I can't make many mistakes or else I'll lose this lead I worked so hard for? Yeah, it's, it's actually a really good point, and that's something that I've thought about a lot in races. Like, I personally find it easier to play better when I'm behind than when I'm ahead. Really? Yeah, like if I, well, it depends on if I know. If I don't know, then it's whatever, right? You don't know. But if yeah. you know you're ahead, it's like, oh man, okay, I'm ahead. All right, I gotta make sure I keep this. And like, it gets a little stressful. Like, it, it's really how you frame it to yourself. <laughs> I think either could be equal, but I personally, it, I don't think I have the best mentality when it comes to well, racing. I think, that, I think that being way in the lead and then losing it all is probably more damaging than like going way behind early in the race. Yeah, and getting that lead back, you know, you, you start building yeah. momentum up. Yeah, you're not as stressed. I feel like you're not as stressed out when you're way behind early. You're just like, well, I just got to play and see what happens. Yeah. Keep your head up. But Bob, not having the best BBH 100 coin, honestly. Punky has a lot of room to catch up here. Yeah, Blue Bob, um, losing time in these past two rooms. We saw Punky of... really struggle with the bookcase room, though, in his last race. Yeah, the bu the bookcase. One of the bookcases did bop him, resulting in a missed blue coin, which is quite a bit of time loss. But Punky so far looking pretty looking, good here. Yeah, looking really good. Bob still holding on to his lead, though. Probably going to be keeping it all the way through BBH at this point. I think that, you know, the hardest star is 100 coin. Yeah, I'd say so. There, oh, there's I'd a say. lot. Okay. All right, and Blue Bob wrapping it up. A couple mistakes here and there, but it wasn't like it was a car crash. Ooh, double punch from Punky to kill that boo. It was yeah, a little bit out, too far away. Coming out swinging. Very aggressive. A little scary. I didn't know Punky could be so violent. He's a pretty innocent man, but I guess once he's got a controller in his hand, all bets are off the table. Like we said earlier, BBH, you're kind of more disturbing the balance of the stage coming in here. You kind of exterminate all these boos, take their stuff, and then leave. Yeah, there's. No, it's like they have their own little place. You don't see boos anywhere else. It's like this is their only domain, and Mario kills pretty much every single boo. Yeah, you might actually kill every boo. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe between like all the stars all together, you might kill all of them. Yeah. Mario is a Ghostbuster in this game. Yeah, I think you might call a Ghostbuster, but unfortunately, I don't think Ghostbusters exist. You might want to call Mario. Call up an Italian plumber if you've got some ghost problems. He's I didn't know that. Your house, yeah, I didn't know that plumbers pound. could help with, with ghosts. And the more you know. Okay, taking these boos for a ride, just like Blue Bob did. Blue Bob now going to go and take care of the big ol' eyeball. Is this the intended strat? Like, this, I'm pretty sure this is what you're supposed to do normally. Like, you get the vanish cap and you basically brush up here as fast as you can. Yeah, that's pretty much what you what you do. Because, uh, I don't, you really don't have enough time. Right, you gotta go. You gotta go decently fast if you're a casual player. You probably go the same direction. It's just different execution for speedrunners, of course. Yeah, it might go through that door right next to the vanish cap. 
Uh, yeah, you might. Oh, big jump die from Blue Bob. Nice optimal kill there on the boot. Oh, Funkation Ground Pound. Trying to long jump there. Alright, should be fine though. The camera's actually really awkward in, in the room with the eyeball. You can't really move it around a lot. The camera in this game be behaves really weird when it's surrounded by walls. Yeah, it tries its best. You know, after speedrunning it for hundreds of hours as well, definitely helps with the camera management. Yeah, it, it's actually really weird. Uh, a casual player, you know, who's used to more modern games, if they played Mario 64 now, the camera would seem really weird, jagged, clunky, and unusable. But actually, uh, Mario's camera gets a lot better with experience. And actually, uh, in a lot of ways, the way that the SM64 camera is set up actually really helps speedrunning. You can, yeah. you know, move, move the camera to get, you know, a certain notched angle on your controller to work for something or, you know, reduce a lot of lag in an area. Yeah, like typically in modern games, camera scrolling is, is very smooth. It's not mm -hmm. like where you press C right and the camera tilts like 45 like degrees every amount time. Of, yeah. Like, it, it's actually super convenient. I, I couldn't imagine playing Mario with a camera like that. With it like would a definitely throw camera. things. Yeah, it, it would throw a lot of things out of whack because there's so many stars that rely on notch angles. Yeah, there are. And, you know, even if uh, you you do need something in between that, we do have the Mario Cam C down, which moves, you know, in smaller increments. Okay, so Blue Bob plopping into the water at around 56, 48. Just want to mm -hmm. keep that noted. Um, this Dire Dire Dox 100, I think, is actually an area where Punke could gain a lot of time over Blue Bob. He could lose a lot of time, too, uh, you know, noticing his... Dydar Docks 100 coin from yesterday. That's true. I think he has the, the potential. I should for say. For the most part, in Blue Bob's races, from what I've seen, he's been doing pretty good 100 coins. You know, standard. Missed he doesn't. He doesn't there, do any. Oh, oh, he misses another. He has to go a second turn. Eats this lag. Oh no, this is bad. That's so, a quite a big time loss, actually. So it's looking like a almost 40 second lead. From, maybe, 30, uh, maybe 35 now or even yeah. less. Yeah, definitely. And Punk oh, nice Punk lemon. A coin early. Yeah, with that strat that Punk is doing, it's actually pretty common to miss that coin. It's really hard to get all five. It's possible, but it's really hard. Oh, okay. wow. It looked like he was about to miss another one, honestly. I was really worried. Oh, he misses one, though. He has to go back for that. So both players struggling a lot in the first area of DDD 100 coin. Honestly, DDD 100 coin, all of it's really hard, but the, se the second half is the the real spice. Spice and everything nice. Maybe a little bit of Chemical X if it doesn't go well. I don't. I'm trying to remember what else he throws in that pot. <laughs> it's sugar. Sugar, spice, and Chemical X. And then that... and every everything nice. Oh right. Blue Bob, though, he gets all the red coins without too much difficulty. Yeah, he's got the sugar and the spice. Everything Let's nice. See, everything nice right here on the triple jump dive. Okay, very good. Gucci gang. Definitely setting up his Powerpuff Girls here. Is there a blue Powerpuff Girl? Um, yeah, Bubbles. Wow, starts with a B too. Bubbles, Blue Bob. Maybe it was planned. I think, I think, I don't know, man. That's kind of creeping me out. Yeah, I... <laughs> a little too much of a coincidence there. Punky as well with a pretty nice Dardox 100. Definitely creeping up on Blue Bob here. Blue Bob popping out at 59.05. Okay, so one thing to notice, Punky did not kick into the coin like Blue Bob. He's running around in a circle here. Long jump, wall kick, dive, roll out onto the coin switch. Punky so definitely nice. saving time in his, uh, you know, in his strats here on Dardox 100 coin. I'd honestly say that Blue Bob executed a little bit better, though, but okay, probably saved some time overall. Yeah, it looks like still Blue Bob keeping up with about a 30 ish second lead. Mm hmm. And I, okay, Fire C is coming up, and Fire C is kind of the equilibrator. It's the. Yeah, we've seen so many leads just get completely destroyed from Fire C. It's the Thanos. Everything needs to be balanced. 
And yeah, I feel like usually leads are more balanced in Fire C than like you know grown. I feel like usually the the player in the lead has a worse Fire C, but I don't know. We'll see if this follows the trend. Punk A misses the chest, has to go in a circle for it. Wow, big circle. Yeah, that's gonna cost him some time. That's a big time. Man, I mean, we're an hour into this thing, and Blue Bob's still with a pretty commanding lead over Punk A. Just gonna have to see how this Fire C goes. It's gonna set the tone, I think, for most of Upstairs. You know, Upstairs, a decently consistent part of the run. So, yeah. Blue Bob going for the back of the sub here, while Punk A usually goes for the front of the sub. That is time safe for Punk A if he can execute it properly. But we'll see what happens. Blue Bob sticking to his guns, though. Doesn't want to do front sub in this race. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bowser in the fire sea. Blue Bob in the fire sea. The bases are loaded. It's the bottom of the ninth. Actually, it's more like the bottom of the sixth or seventh. But the bases are loaded. Yeah, uh, he can only afford. Okay, that's okay. strike. That's strike oh! three, and he, he's already out. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay, Punky, not getting front sub though. Might not matter. Uh, Punky. Um. Punky's pretty much losing the time that uh, early Ellie saves and fires. Uh, no, he didn't lose that much. I I don't know, man. I think it's it's that was that was pretty rough. That was yeah. A that lot was, of lag. That was bad. But Blue Bob's gonna miss the whole cycle here, I think. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, box all the way down. Yeah, and Holy a couple bobbing to him. rub it in. I, I don't think Blue Bob would have made it anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is normal cycle. Normal this cycle's is, like this, pretty free. This is normal cycle. Okay, Punkation. Early Ellie's attempt here in Fire C. What has he got going for him? Goes for the single jump wall kick there. That's a little slow, but as yeah, long as he doesn't make slow. any more mistakes, he can get it. Move it along. Nice side flip. Grabbing the pole. Triple jump. Here it goes. One up a spawn, blue bob, grab okay. a star. Double long jumps, jump dive to the coin, dodges the bully. No He's just gonna go for regular early Ellie's. So he will get guaranteed time save here over blue bob. But with the, the front sub mishaps, I don't think Punk A nets anything. Yeah, and Oh, shocked. and he gets shocked by the amp. Yeah, blue bob's ending was definitely more smooth. And blue bob missing the throw. Misses the throw, that is, the worst throw to miss. You have to wait for, you know, the sumo battle here where Bowser jumps on the platform. Yeah, I guess Bowser's just like that heavy when he lands, it just completely tilts the platform. There's the throw though. Still keeping a lead, but man, it is, it's swaying. It maybe, is swaying. Maybe Bowser's shell is like the heavy thing. You know, like you ever watch like Dragon Ball, they like wear the shells or whatever and they're like super heavy. Maybe Bowser's been training. I can't say I know what you're talking about, but I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I do know what you're talking about and say, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But Punk H in definitely saving a bunch of time in Fire Sea after all of what happened to Blue Bob. Missing the early cycle, missing the throw. I'd say that his lead is probably less than 20 seconds now. Yeah, Blue Bob came into Dire Dire Docks at about 103.16. So lead looking about... A little 20 over 20 seconds. seconds. Yeah. 23 seconds. Yeah, I mean, honestly, pretty surprising. You know, seeing that Blue Bob missed the cycle and missed a throw, still able to keep over the a 20-second lead, 20 lead yeah. is it's pretty good. All right, both players not struggling on the Manta Rings. They can be kind of difficult to, uh, to do. And especially if you miss one, it can be really annoying. Yeah, they're kind of deceptive stars in theory. They should be pretty simple, but um, they end up being a little saucy, most notably the Jetstream star. I wonder if Blue Bob hadn't failed Fire C really badly if he would have been on PB Pace. I, I definitely think so. He was on a pretty hot run. I honestly, I feel like, what is Blue Bob's PB? Like a 140? 140... 142. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, like, a, like a mid one, I think. It looks like he'll be getting maybe a 105. A 105. Uh, maybe. Maybe a low 106. Yeah, low 106, high 105. If that's the case, he could. He could.
could PB, but it would have to be a super spicy upstairs. Mm -hmm. But I mean, definitely not something you want to think about. It just adds more pressure, I believe. Maybe, maybe failing Fire C actually. Uh, maybe it happened because he realized he might have been on PB pace in the race, and maybe getting that out of the way early is a good thing. So now he can kind of, you know, approach the the race normally again get recentered for upstairs because entering upstairs nervous is never good i feel like uh, all of all of the stages after dire dire dogs through the end of the game are really punishing on mistakes yeah maybe it was intentional maybe it was like you know what this is too fast i need to cool it down a bit i'm gonna get too hot and bothered in upstairs let me just um get hot and bothered in fire seat you ever have you ever had that moment though? Like you're playing Mario and it feels like you break your own internal speed limit. You just can't control the guy oh, anymore. Oh, definitely. Like when you're on a run, that's like, oh my gosh, what is this run? I'm going way too fast right now. Blue Bob with a beautiful 105 up, despite those mistakes in Fire Sea. He could have had a low 105 up. That's a pretty nice run. Yeah, that is a nice run. Punke also getting a uh, like low 106 though. These are some of the best upstairs times we've seen so far in the Invitational. Both players on an exceptionally pretty, like, pretty good run here. Yeah, what did uh, Cheese end up getting, you know? He got a one... or his, his upstairs time in the last race? Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, were you even commentating that one? No, I wasn't. I know that okay. he ended up getting like a 143.57 final time though. He did and, fall off the carpet. Yeah, he probably got, I, I bet he got like a 105. 105, 106. But yeah, still, despite that, I mean, I haven't seen any other 105s. Certainly no 104s. Well, I know that Punke got a 142 in the round one race. So he might've had a time like that as well. True, true. Blue Bob with a nice vanish cap. Punky Shun doing the same star right behind him. Um, Blue Bob's execution was pretty good. Had a little bit of an over jump on the wall kick. Let's see how it goes for Punky. All right, we're probably gonna see one. Yeah, one hundred coin here for oh, Blue Punky Bob. Can't get up there. Okay, so Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I'm just saying, uh, Blue Bob going for one hundred coin here. Pretty good to get it out of the way. I'd say it's the hardest star here. Okay, missed triple jump wall kick here. Side flip wall kick will be a good backup, oh. but he does get shocked by the amp. Won't have to worry about it again, though, after yeah. that. Add in some insult to injury there. Punky opts to go for the triple jump wall kicks here. Started out, does it with the kick. Oh, oh, no, he misses. He will lose all of that time save that you can get there. It saves, you know, about four seconds going for it and then failing, though, you know, loses even more. Oh, okay. Misses the wall kick. Gets bopped by the bottom of the elevator. Not the best star for Punkation. Yeah, I mean, that that seems about similar to Blue Bob's uh, wall kick flub and static shock. It's like they're just handing the mistake baton back and forth. It's like, okay, now you make a mistake. I think it, it just really shows like what, like anything can really go wrong in upstairs. Every star, almost every star is hard and can have something that goes wrong. Oh, a few freebies. Oh, Blue Bob, he wants to avoid that fire. Wow, nice. Yeah, that was something. Okay. I can't believe he actually dodged that. Yeah, I was for sure. I was like 100% sure he was going to get burned. My calculations were off. I need to update my calculator. This TI-87 isn't doing it anymore. Here we go. Blue Bob wrapping up the 100 plus reds. Punky working mistakes on mistakes here and there. Nothing too bad. Yeah, Punky's looking pretty good here. No shocker. Excellent long jump under the secret so, box there. Let's see what Blue Bob goes for here. I guess he's probably gonna do secrets now. Yep. It is the longest star he has left. It's kind of good to get the long stars out of the way in a stage, and then you do all the quick ones in succession. Yeah, see that I, star count really fly. Yeah, I, I I agree with that to a point. I actually side more with Punky's decisioning here in the star selection, just because the triple jump wall kicks can kind of loom over your head. You're like, okay, you know, this is good so far, but I still need to do those triple jump wall kicks. I think maybe 100 coin and then triple jump wall kicks and then secrets. You know, something a little bit more in the middle between these two players. 
Man. Oh, Punky okay, misses a coin. Oh, almost falls off. Nice Still manages grab. to grab it. Yeah, that could have that could have been uh, pretty bad. All right, Blue Bob triple jump wall kick attempt does it with the kick too. No side flips here from either player. Blue Bob does though net the time save here. Yeah, that was beautiful. Uh, we did see in his previous race when he did uh, top of the town, which is the uh, box star at the top there with the medium level water. He did not go over the triple jump wall kick. That one does only save about a second. I wonder if we'll see something similar. No punkation in the second half of Wet Dry World 100 coin. Uh, I would like to note that Punke actually does have the best recorded Wet Dry World 100 coin time with regular run strategies. Yeah, I do remember him grinding that for a bit. Wasn't able to figure out what he was losing time on, but was able to sort it out. It just goes to show you, through enough practice, you will eventually just become in tune with the star. Yeah, it. even if you don't uh, get a breakthrough uh, consciously, it'll just happen by itself. Like small things that you'll pick up, maybe without even noticing. Oh, yeah. It's, it's strange, but it makes sense. Yeah. Blue Bob popping out at 111.22. Punky still hot on his trail, but Blue Bob keeping the lead. Less than, you know, 45 minutes left in this race. Blue Bob has been keeping it up. Hasn't I'd been say that Blue it. Bob pretty much kept the lead through Wet Dry World, which is a good way to start upstairs. Yeah, 20 seconds still in his court. Okay, THI secrets attempt for Blue Bob. Misses the double jump. Okay, oh that backup was goodness. insane. I can't Blue Bob. I saw. I think he's Okay, but he, he doesn't get the clip though. Okay. I, wow, those backups were so good. I think Blue Bob might have popped the red pill. I think that's what we're seeing here. Blue Bob yeah. is running through this game in slow motion. Okay, the Matrix. let's grab. Okay, Punky can actually still save a lot of time Yeah, here. he's going to save a lot of time. Yeah. Be oh, oh, but he makes the same mistake as Blue Bob. Can he get the nice backup? Okay, okay. he got it. Uh, Punkation definitely still saving time over Blue Bob. Blue Bob also had that nasty ledge grab. Okay. Blue Bob with the Bob updated route. Yep. Okay. Looking good. Really nice oh, RG, but didn't no. get the jump. This is not good. Okay, nice jump. Foundation definitely back saving up. time here. Man, you, you gotta give it to Blue Bob. His fortitude, you know, his ability to eat a mistake and just keep it moving. Yeah, it's actually so good. You can tell he's he's really feeling himself. Like he's really in a clear mind state. He's not letting mistakes get to him. He's just focusing and doing what he has to do. And that's what you gotta do. Especially yeah. against an opponent like Punk K. Jones. Yeah, we've seen a lot of the runners kind of crumble under their mistakes. Get the snowballing effect. But whenever Blue Bob's made a mistake, I haven't seen a snowball yet. So Blue Bob doing the newer THI 100 route, Punk K not bothering with it. That's going to allow Blue Bob to save some nice time. And really good RNG for Blue Bob, needing all those coins. Got them all. Uh, Punk K going to have to hit the pole. Blue Bob but, did not need you to know, bother. The Can't get the blue coin. Level. Execute the execution level though on THI 100 coin looking, you know, better for punkation. Right, Blue Bob's route was faster, but it it doesn't really amount to anything if he can't execute it properly. Yeah, uh, Punky definitely going really fast, not caring too much about Blue Bob's route. Still gonna be saving some time over him. It's it's like not even a 15 second lead now. Nope, not even. Definitely not even. Uh, you can do all of the cave in like, um, I don't know, I think it's, what was it, like 17 seconds if it's with only red coins. Okay, but a bonk from Ponke. And Blue Bob with a 114.09 fade out there on the red coin. All right, so we're still looking at like a 14, 15 second lead here. Yeah. Honestly, Boobob had a, a really bad opening for THI 100 coin, but his ability to just keep it together anyway was so good that he didn't really lose any time overall. It, it seemed like the lead was about 15 seconds going into the beginning of the star. Yeah, Blue Bob looking like a nice, strong, tall, well-nourished oak. Okay, Punky 
getting in the goes water. Goes for the uh, potential time saves doing the clip to get to the box star, but getting stuck in the water, probably losing almost all of the time save that comes from doing that. Yeah, and some. You basically need to do that strat perfectly for it to yeah. uh, save time. I wonder really if Blue Bob will do something similar. I remember when that strat just looked insane and everyone's like, what are you doing? But now it's just like the norm. Kind of the way speedrunning goes. It's like one person does it, you're like, that person's crazy. And then some people start picking it up. One thing to notice the star order, Blue Bob opted to do Wiggler first while Punkation did the box star. And I can, I think I agree with Blue Bob because if you fail the mountain clip second try, Blue Bob can just do the normal movement over to the box. But if Punk A misses the mountain clip second try, he has to do it again. Right. Yeah, definitely want to go for Wiggler first. And Blue Bob doing the strat, no problem. Yeah. Saving some time over Punk A there. This is crazy, man. Okay, but I, I will mention, I've popped in on Blue Bob's stream a couple of times, and I've seen him having quite a hard time with the Tall Tall Mountain Mountain Clip, which will be coming oh, up next. Oh, really? Yeah, so I hopefully he can get it down. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much trouble. But I, I've definitely been there, and it is not a fun place to be. Yeah, it might be just a mental block thing. Maybe he's gotten See it solved he's, since yeah, then. Yeah, I, I hope so. Strained out. I feel like if you're preparing for a tournament race, right, you probably you probably go for your biggest weaknesses first in practice. That would probably be mountain clip for Blue Bob. So let's see if he's done his homework. But Cooper race now for Blue Bob. Going to be finishing out THI probably with a lead if he doesn't die or anything ridiculous here. Yeah, that would be pretty wild. Nice big long jump. This is a crazy race. Okay, Blue Bob taking a lot of fall damage. Just likes to smack Mario in the ground and smush him a bit. Half He'll still health. be okay. Small mistakes here on the Koopa race aren't a big deal because the Koopa is, you know, still moving the whole time. Still nets himself a 13-5 as well. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Let's see what Punk Egg is able to get here. Probably a little bit faster. That that seemed a little bit better for Punk Egg. Yeah, but I, it really is about this part right it's here. It's about this, yeah, the slope. Yeah, that's that. Oh, wait. Okay, so Blue Bob's still going faster on this star overall. Wow. I mean, it also depends on, like, your pipe entry at the beginning, too, and how fast you actually get to Koopa, though. All right. That's it. Tiny Huge Island complete. Blue Bob's still carrying the torch. He's running with it. But these thighs, you know, can only take so much abuse. Yeah. At some point someone's got a break like you can't you can't just keep your your heavy concentration and good execution throughout the whole run there's gonna be something big from someone eventually it's just all all right. about who it's from and how they keep it together when it happens Ooh, punk a big jump into the star nice clip from blue bob yep seems like he has this he has his stuff together on this uh he does have two more after this though he has to do oh no! oh wow that's... no i can't believe what just happened uh, let's... That's probably all of his lead gone. Just from that mistake. He might have a couple seconds still over Punk A, but that's pretty damaging. Oh, and then missing the triple jump dive. I hope that doesn't get to him too much. I... The thing about a mistake like that is it's really weird. You don't see mistakes like that hardly ever. I know... I've never seen somebody do that. And when you have a mistake like that, it kind of gets in your head a little bit more than a normal mistake. It's like, oh yeah, I, I can, I've done that before. It's like, whatever. But if you do a mistake like that, you're like, what am I doing? Like, what? I need to really focus. Yeah, and you, you kind of like start blaming the game. Like, wow, this game sucks. I mean, you could go that route. I don't know what route Blue Bob's going personally. I, I think maybe something like, like, I just really need to focus. I don't know what I'm doing. Blaming the game could be a possibility, though. Usually not the best option because it's almost never the case. Um, could lead to some delusion. But you never know. The mind is an enigma. Here we go. Punk A up in star count, but he has done... Breezeless and top of the mountain while Blue Bob's gotten Blue Bob's gotten the monkey cage already done. Yeah, and that is a long one. Blue Bob opting to get all the mountain clips out of the way and doing them all nicely. Thank goodness. Not really struggling with that at all. Yeah, 
Oh, it's a Ponke! Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! Just as you say that! Oh! Okay, Boobob tries to do the backup, but it doesn't work out. Oh, man. That's wrong. That's, that's damaging, for sure. I don't know, man. Funke might actually have the lead at this point. Uh, yeah, he might now. Here we go. It's hard. It's hard to gauge. If I had to guess, I'd probably say that Funke has the lead. Oh, oh yeah, and there it is. Definitely after that. That's well, not gonna work either, Blue yeah, Bob. He's not tried, taking his time. I feel like he tried to back it up way too quickly. Yeah, didn't even care about uh, the angle or anything. Was just like, all right, this better work. You don't wanna, you don't wanna play frustrated, because more mistakes happen when you do that. But it's, oh. yeah, I okay, missed the red coin. This is the, this is the snowballing effect that we were saying that we haven't seen from Blue Bob. He's going for the new TTM 100 coin route. Ooh. All right, I'm excited to see this. Oh, oh no, coin. he misses coins. I don't know if that matters. That does matter. He's gonna have to kill a bob -omb now. This is rough. Uh, it's still not over for Blue Bob at all. We still yeah, have not. some of the hardest stages in the game. Oh, he just missed another coin. All right, Blue Bob has to take a, a deep breath, and it can be hard with this game because it's like non-stop action, Punk A oh, falling Punk down. Oh, failing in the coin maze. Oh, And smacked. getting mopped by the whack-a-mole. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know which whack-a-mole was responsible for that rogue snowball coming and slapping him in his big, fat Italian nose. Is that a snow... I, I don't think it's a snowball. It's like a, something else. It's a lint ball. They pick the lint out of their belly button until it is a solid ball, and they bop him. All right, Mario War has been established for the Whack-A-Mole. Wow, Blue Bob almost long jumping into that star. Okay, so he's gonna have to kill two bob -omb's and then get the red coin. He wants them to run into each other here. Uh, one of the bob -omb's, you know, just not deciding to work with him. One of the coins flies. He's gonna have to kick this one. All right, that's a good ball. move. Okay. Uh, uh, this, this ending... This ending is the roughest looking part of the new route. I just, I never see anyone ace it. But he was also, it was also a little bit different too for Blue Bob because he had to kill the, the Bob Bombs and you usually don't do that with this route. Oh, misses oh. the star. And Blue Bob in the DM saying, I forget how to play. Um, it's, it is kind yeah. of seeming like that kind of, kind of errors right now. Just nonsensical mistakes, sort of falling apart here. Punky developing a pretty nice lead here in Tall Tall Mountain. Nothing that Blue Bob can't gain back, um, especially considering what we've seen from Punky thus far. And you gotta give props to Blue Bob for holding a lead for that long for against half, the player. Half the run. Yeah, against the player of Punky's caliber. World record contender, held world record multiple times in the past. Really solid 120 player. And Punky kind of known for his prowess in races. Yeah, his incredible. consistency is usually what's touted. That's a fun word. Touted? Yeah. Go commentator flexing with his vocabulary. Commentator a little bit intimidated. Might need to pick up a dictionary and start studying some words. I feel like I have a bundle of, uh, like a plethora, if you will, of like Ooh. useful cool color colorful a uh, colorful vocabulary words but sometimes my brain just like it's not the first word i think of right it just yeah. they just come out periodically yeah sometimes you can craft something nice so blue bob going for stomach's head right at the beginning of sl oh, I agree with that. yeah punky falls down trying to do it you can do a backup here oh but he fails the wall kick gonna do it again okay he's up there let's grab yep Bob having a much nicer uh, snowman's head execution wise, but Punkation's still holding on to that star count lead. It looks like Bob's going for the Eagle Star now. So after he gets this, we'll know the, the lead. All right, uh, interestingly enough, Punkay wants to get some of these other stars out of the way, uh, like Will from the Freezing Pond before 100 coin.
Yeah, I wonder what Blue Bob is going to opt for here. It is pretty common to see the 100 coin taken care of pretty early on, but Blue Bob as well. He's also doing a roll from Freaking Pond. Yeah, it looks like he missed one of his speed kicks. Yeah, not too big of a deal. Uh, misses the box, too. Okay, wow. Really good RNG. Okay. Yeah, doing really well on the money bag. And here it is. Oh, the Massacre. Spender punishing him. Yeah, this is where you, you really disrupt this stage. Almost every enemy you take out, I think. Yeah, I, you... Nobody's safe. You basically make... Uh, you drive the spindrifts to the point of extinction, I'm pretty sure. You pretty much bop all of them. Like, you, you, they think... Oh, Punky! Oh, missing Punk the coin! Thing. Yeah, they think they're safe in the igloo, but even... You just come flopping into the igloo, grab the vanish cap, getting all these coins super quick, taking out some Goombas along the way. There's a couple who think that they're safe in the freezing water, but... Not even there is safe for Mario. Wow, Punky missing a lot of coins. Really weird mistakes. Blue Bob can definitely capitalize here on the igloo. That's yeah. Good time and nice RNG. And one thing to note is like when the mistakes start in SL, uh, I think that a lot of times they can carry through to Tippy as well. But uh, Blue Bob, you know, he messed up in TTM. He, he gets a stage to kind of wow. recompose himself. That igloo was just fire. Yeah. Ice, perhaps? That was a speedrun fire right there. Is it speedrun fire or speedrun clock? I don't even know what the fire emote is. I want to say it's fire. It's fire. It's fire, fam. That was some fire from Blue Bob. Some hot fire. That was a Blazing Wing Chang level igloo right there. I'm not, I'm surprised that okay. the igloo stood standing up, honestly. I'm surprised he didn't get blocked in from melting it down. Okay, ending his SL100 coin. You know, he didn't have the best beginning, but the ending looks pretty good. Uh, oh, Blue Chase Bob trying to bag. Money bag. Oof. Gotta be careful. That snowman could take him off his shell. All right, he's good. Yeah. He's shredding. Uh, Boobob, not with the best ending to his SL100 coin. Punky is definitely better. Ooh, has to go back for that coin. Last Spindrift thinks he's safe, but is not. Kaboom. So it looks like Punky's up uh, a deep freeze and a little bit more than that. I'd say probably 25 seconds. Maybe a little less than that, maybe just 20. I wonder if we'll see either player go for the BLJ through the 50 star door. I think Blue Bob went for it in his last race. That'd be pretty hot. This is a little bit more serious. I wonder if he's still willing to risk it for the biscuit. I mean, when you're behind, what would you do? If you were behind, would you go for it? Or would you not go for it? I guess it depends on the margin. If I'm like really close, I think I wouldn't bother. But if I'm 20 seconds behind, I think I would try I to do I, it. I think I'd go for it once. Because if you miss it and you just end up at the top, you lose maybe like five seconds, but you could get 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Blue Bob with the really of... nice deep freeze. He's actually known to be like very strong at that star. Definitely saving time over Punky. Yeah, that was pretty hot. All right, Blue Bob, maybe BLJ attempt. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if it pays off. That angle, sketchy. Oh, but he's got oh, it. Wow, that was so fast. Blue Bob, that is oh. eight seconds time save for sure. Yeah, he's here to play. That. That is what he needed. And that's a huge confidence booster too. Yeah, Blue Bob kind of resetting his mental. Um, exactly what he needed going into Tippy. You know, arguably one of the hardest parts um, of the game when you're factoring in the nerves. Okay, pretty nice cannon shot there. Blue Bob on his tail, creeping along. One slip up in TikTok clock or rainbow ride, and it could turn the tide. Yeah, Tippy is the scariest place to be in Super Mario 64. And Punkation with a pull grab. That's, That's a big. few seconds there for Blue Bob that he can capitalize on if he executes the coin grab well. Yeah, Punky grabbing the star and fading out here at 129.31. <laughs> Blue Bob. One thing to note is that Tippy mistakes are usually. Oh, oh no, he misses no. the coin. He's probably gonna grab the pole as a backup. Maybe not. Nice, okay. nice. He, he should be able to fly straight into the star now. It's gonna be some slow flying, but he doesn't have to land or anything. So that hurts. That, I think that's more of a mistake than grabbing the pole is. Having to fly all the way yeah. around, losing the speed. 
But it's looking like a little bit over 20 second lead here for Pumpkin. You know, one thing to note is that Tippy mistakes are usually accompanied by a death. So shock. if, if Punke has one of those deaths, basically Buab's all caught up, even if it's a short star. Punke's 100 looking pretty nice. Blue Bob as well. Blue Bob's also looking really good. Oh, okay. Firsty though, he he so knows up. that he can just grab that ledge. Punkation, small mistake there, trying to get into the cage. This is a nail bite. I am literally biting yeah. my nails. TikTok Hawk 100 coin is really scary. Invisible oh, wall. Punke falls down. He knows the backup here. Triple jump dive Taking up his here. Time. Yeah, this well the triple jump dive can be really scary. You don't have a lot of room to work with, right? So okay, Boobop has to chase that coin. That's really unfortunate. He does not change Mario's angle though, so he's good to go. Still able to wall kick out of that cage. It can be like really frustrating to get that wall kick sometimes. Alright. No invisible wall. RNG treating him pretty nice. Oh no! No, that's a no, death. Blue no. Bob falling. Oh, oh wait! Wait! He's alive! Okay, landing on the pendulum. Um, what happened was, uh, Blue Bob did not get his double jump. Yeah. Man. What's he gonna do? How's he getting back up here? He's I don't even gonna, know. Yeah, he's gonna do Mario Kemp. Oh! Down, oh, no. He's dead. He's dead. Blue Bob! No! Unfortunately, I feel like that is the nail in the coffin. Yeah. Fighting nail and tooth only to end up with a nail in the coffin. Blue it's, Bob. It's like I said though, like some someone's gotta give eventually, right? Yeah, unfortunately it was Bobby. It's gonna take some serious mistakes from Punky at this point to drop the lead. We got Car Giratana jumps. Gira How do you actually say that? Pokemon. Giratina, Giratina jumps. Giratina jumps. Carlos. Also known as Carlos, thank you very much for the oh, sub. Okay, Punky diving. Uh, he has to get a hand. It's a nice backup though. That's why you always do. Roll in the cage before get a hand. Yeah, for exactly that reason. Accidentally slipped down there, no big deal, just get the star. Should Honestly, punk has been making some big mistakes in TikTok, TikTok clock. So if Boobob just hadn't died, I feel like oh, it would be such a close race right now. Yeah, that was tragic. That was sad. That was a sad one. I'm in my feelings. No Drake. Top 10 anime deaths. That, that would take number one, I think. Number one or number two, probably. Number Blue one Bob might be like on a world Blue record. Bob has had some tragic things happen in the GSA tournaments. Like in the bingo tournament, he got Goombaed at the end of Bowser in the Sky and he lost because of it. Yeah, he got Goombaed. Then he had that one time where he just didn't have the right coin count going down to town for Wet Dry World. Oh yeah. Man, Bingo's coming around the corner, though. The triple Bingo Yeah, that's going to be hot. Going to be coming around soon. And the non-stop 70 tournament should be starting relatively soon here, too. The action never stops here at Global Speedrun Association. We thank you all for watching and your continued involvement, engagement, and intrigue. One thing to point out here is that Punkation, if he falls off the carpet, it could, it could be race again. I mean... It, <laughs> you know, thinking that anyone would fall off the carpet is, you know, usually, it, it like almost never happens, but we've seen two carpet falls oh, now, wow. invitational. Yeah, I, it usually sounds like a joke. It's like, oh yeah, they're still in it if they fall off the carpet, but, you know, usually saying it tongue in cheek, but honestly, people are falling off the carpet. I don't know why, but I guess it's hard to stay on. Could be extra butter. Extra nacho cheese. Speaking of nacho, nacho cheese, you know, I, I I know that we usually end up on Taco Bell at some yeah, point. Yeah, Taco Bell, man. Did, did, did they I tell you? Do? Did I tell you the double chalupa's back? Are you serious? Oh, Blue Bob with a box. Yes, I just went and got one right Well, they have the they have their chalupa box back. I know about that. I got that like a week ago. Oh, that might be it. It's a double chalupa now. Oh, is it? It wasn't a double chalupa in the one I got, so maybe it's just like just like a couple days ago they added it back or something. I gotta go after this. Yeah, it's a it's a gift. I'd love to go with you, but you know, unfortunately, we're like two hours away, so sad face. Can I get some taco emojis in chat? Yes, please give us the taco emojis. Give us some clock. 
Give us some rip bits. Pour out some rip bits for our boy Blue Bob taking a big old fall and tick tock clock. But Blue okay. Bob though, Ooh, missing the red there, Punky. Not a huge deal though. It is 100, yeah. so it's good. Blue Bob though, what? why is he okay, grabbing the red? extra coin? Yeah, Punky yeah. not yeah, using his that? brain. Yeah, he just could not look at the coin count for whatever reason. Math is very hard. Punky very hard. Blue Bob, nice uh, pendulum star. Blue Bob, though, showing he's a, a massive force to be reckoned with mm. here in, in the 120 star invitation. Mm. Punky! Kind of slipping here in Rainbow Ride. Blue Bob about to be wrapping up here with TikTok Clock. Yeah. It's also not completely over for Blue Bob after this as well. Uh, he still has a chance to nab third place in the bronze match. Is that? Oh yeah, this is a semifinals match. That's yeah, right. it is. It's not completely over for him. Yeah, Blue Bob still technically could be in the money. He would be facing the loser of Chizo Five and and uh, D whatever. Uh, okay, okay, Bobby. I see you. All right, Punky chilling on the carpet. Blue Bob is going to be accompanying him soon in Rainbow Ride. Punky just looking off into space, contemplating, meditating, elevating, accentuating. All right, so will he fail, will he fail the carpet? I don't know. Like, will he go for the side flip wall kick? Is that what... I, uh, Okay, because the last time that I saw someone fall, it wasn't even... Okay, Punk, uh, Blue Bob falling here on the pole. The well, last time I saw someone fall, it wasn't even in relation to that side flip wall kick. Well, Para fell off trying to side flip, I think, and Cheese fell off getting burned by the flame and then just <laughs> didn't get back on the carpet in time because he was messing around. So now Punky has that extra coin now because he grabbed that extra red for whatever reason. Yeah. It's all good in the hood though. Was able to avoid the coin. Still at a cool 100 and Blue Bob now working on the 100 as well. A whole carpet ride behind, but does have a lack to bounce star ahead. All right, Punky right. being very careful. Side football kick. Okay, he's good to go. Blue Bob with the beautiful side flip ground pound, getting all those coins super quick. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Yeah, a blazing wing. Blue Bob, you know, no stranger to counting. Knows he is fine with 50 coins. Oh, Punky failing lack of two bounce. Yeah, Blue Has Bob coins basic, as a backup. Basic arithmetic. Oh, okay, side foot fail for Punkation. Does the backup movement for that coin. And a slow yeah. get up. Punky is. He's hes actually looking like really shaky in Rainbow Ride. It's just his lead is so big at this point that it's going to take something massive. Okay, right? what is Blue Bob doing? Blue Bob! Okay. He still makes it onto the carpet in time. He's good to go. Woo! That was scary. All right, Punkation, failing glitchy wall kick, trying to go for a Lakitu bounce. He's not gonna be doing tricky triangles as a backup. Ooh, okay. So Punkation's running out of backup stars here for Lakitu bounce, and he still has. Has he gotten? either of the bounces yet? I don't think I, he has. Yeah, I don't think he has. Okay, and not He's just doing regular Lakitu bounce now. I know he's really consistent with this one, so... Just gonna go for it now that he doesn't really have any backups left. He has no Swinging in the Breeze, but Swinging in the Breeze really isn't a good backup for Lakitu bounce. And 
Blue Bob wrapping up the 100 over here, playing around a bit. Void in the burn. Okay, Punky going back uh, to his glitchy, glitchy wall kick. kick. Uh, that's kind of weird that he would opt to go to regular Lakitu bounce and then switch back to glitchy wall kick. Maybe he was just concerned that he had to do like two Lakitu bounces, and if he failed one more time, then he'd have to do two in a row without failing. I yeah, don't know. I think that's it. He just wanted to get at least one go in to get his confidence back. He's like, okay, now I can go back to this. Bob repping the regular lack of two bounce here. And Punky looking like he can get a 143, which is a decently respectable that's 120 a, time. Yeah, that's a respectable time for sure. In a race. You know, sometimes you'll get the occasional like 141, 140, 139, but it's it's pretty rare. Okay, Blue Bob can't get over this hill. Lakitu getting in his way. And Funky with the hot, fresh, funky swinging in the breeze movement. Oh! Oh no, he misses the star. Not gonna be netting the time save from that route. All right, Punky looking to go into Bowser in the sky now. Yeah, this can be a pretty solid 143. Blue Bob looking like he could get maybe a 145, 144. I think he's got some pretty um, quick stars left. I think he can get 144, maybe. We'll see how it goes. All right, Bunker, Punky, Punker, Punker in the sky. What's his new nickname? Punkers. Yeah. Oh! No early Ellie's for this man. One cycle later. Not a huge deal. Come up with some nice reds. All right, gonna be... Oh. oh, sliding on the ramp. Tries to skip the flame with a side flip. Good to go. Okay, interesting movement from Punkers. Triple jump. Blue Bob was having a pretty... nice tricky triangles. Yeah, not too tricky for Blue Bob. Tick tock clock 100 is a little tricky, but tricky triangles, nah. Okay, big Goomba! Oh, he, gets... he got Goomba! He got Goomba! Punky getting is the game absolutely... trying to pay Blue Bob back for what happened to him? I can't I... believe it. So all of a sudden, there is a chance. Oh, Blue Bob. Uh, Blue Bob on the pendulum. And, and like that, I think it's gone again. Okay, right. Punky taking his time to get the red coin. Yep, yeah, uh, Punky has a he's a pretty big lead here, but yes, there's throws. Oh, Triple okay. jump dive. Oh, Punky, he's looking shook right now. So you know, when you're playing scared, more mistakes happen, and Blue Bob probably already feels like he has nothing to lose. Oh, Blue Bob, come on, get it moving, boy. Bonking everywhere. Bonking on the way out of Rainbow Ride. Bonking up to the sky. Might not even feel like it's possible. Going for a BLJ. Blue Bob might not know what happened. No, he probably yeah. doesn't. He I probably thinks that after the TTC 100 coin, everything was done. Blue Bob, no. Why are you doing that? Oh. All right. I'm going to get Goomba again, though. Or, like, misses the star. That would be wild. All right, Blue Bob's got his red coin. Punk A, it's still up quite a bit here in Bowser in the Sky. It's going to take quite a bit of missed throws, but anything's possible as we like to say here. Yeah, I mean, anything really is possible after what I just saw. A couple happy little Bowser missed throws here, and uh, Blue Bob could be back in this. Blue Bob Ross could paint a happy little grand finals for himself. All right, it's, it's gonna take quite a few throw misses for Punk A. Yeah, Punk A on high 144 pace. Blue Bob right behind him. Could get a 145. Oh, Blue Bob! Spicy stuff! All right, let's see what Punk A's got for his throws. First throw is a good one. Let's see what he's got now. Second throw is good. The third throw is pretty much the trickiest one, I'd say. Yeah, here we go. And... and that's good to go. It's crazy. A oh, crazy but... ending to the run. We thought, you know, maybe Blue Bob could have caught him, but Punk A still holding on to that lead that was established from TikTok Clock 100 coin. Honestly, this could have been a completely different race without that death. 
Yeah, that was that was pretty wild. I didn't expect that to go down as it did. Punkation, congratulations on the win. How are you feeling, man? I was getting pretty nervous, and my room is too hot, so my hands are like sweating up a storm. But the overall like RNG in that upstairs was completely abysmal. Like like that Gamba bopping me at the end. Like, are you serious? <laughs> and just like the THI 100, the Goomba placements, man, that really annoyed me. But I looked at the stream for the first time, and Blue Bob made like a huge mistake in TikTok, and I was like four stars ahead. So I entered Rainbow Ride knowing that, and I and I think just like maybe the nerves got to me, like a huge and I was just. I kind of help but get some negative thoughts like, oh man, I have this big lead. It would suck if I just blow this lead, wouldn't it? Or something. That, that's that's exactly what we were talking about earlier. We are yeah. like, what's worse? Trying to come back from, uh, like, you're behind and you're trying to come back or having a lead and keeping it. And I, I think it's harder to keep the lead, especially when you know it, because mm -hmm. it's weighing on your mind. You're like, man, I, I Dude, don't lose this. Looking, looking at the stream, that might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Because I, I, I saw that, I knew I had the huge lead, and it just, it just gets to you, like, also, after that, after that um, Goomba death, I was kind of freaking out, because I was like, oh, I don't even know if I'm in the lead now, and then I was like, I re-entered Sky, like, really nervous, and just, it was awful. I, don't, I really had, no, I had no idea who, who won when I um, finished Dark World, or Sky. We also got Blue Bob in the call now. Hey, Blue Bob, hey. welcome. Uh, you know, a couple sad things happened to you that race, but I don't know. I thought that in that midsection, you were really killing it. I feel like you had a really good run cooking. Yeah, if I, I'm still kind of in disbelief of what happened in TTC. Mm -hmm. But uh, between TTC and TTM, like just if those two went well, I would have PB'd. Wow. Like everything else wasn't that bad. But even even with Fire C. Yeah, Fire C and like 30 and Womps, like even if all that stuff went as it did, I would have PB'd. Wow. I yeah, you were three. you were playing super hot. You were cooking it up. You had the lead up until Tall Tall Mountain. Yeah, and then I don't even know what happened. I lost between TTC and TTM, I lost uh three minutes and fifteen seconds to my golds. So Dang. it would have been like a one low one forty two, I guess, if they went well. But still came I... out. Still came out, did your thing, played really well, made for an excellent race. Yeah, it was super and cool. It, it's not was, over. Yeah. It's not over yet. You still have the bronze match too coming up, so maybe you know get in that money. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I like I said, I wasn't expecting to win, so just kind of a uh, just kind well, of sucks well, to play so well for the first hour yeah. and twenty, and then totally forget how to play for twenty minutes. Yeah, Is it definitely. Maybe, maybe a confidence booster though that you were able to. You know, get that lead and hold it that long against Punke. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I was definitely surprised at how well I was playing, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm a little salty at the way I lost it. But mm -hmm. it yeah, goes. reasonably so. Still came out with a great showing, and we will be looking forward to your bronze match. Uh, Punke will be playing the winner of Chizo Five and D Whatever. What do you think about that, Punkers? Blue Bob, or what I think about Cheese's next race, you said? Cheese or D whatever. The winner of that match plays you. What are you thinking about the grand finals? Uh, I mean, like, D whatever has been out of it for so long. Like, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty difficult for him to win. It would be difficult for, like, anyone to win against Cheese, really. Well, Cheese hasn't been getting the best times in the invitational right you got a yeah. 144 and a really high 143 so. i mean i'm i'm certainly not saying it's like guaranteed of course mm -hmm. but cheese is obviously like the favorite he's probably the favorite in the whole tournament perhaps do you think that uh either player would be hard for you to win against though i would feel a lot more confident against d whatever but i throughout that entire race or like most of it just the nerves were really bad. I really, I really need to like 
get, keep myself together. If I'm going to beat Cheese in Grands, if he does make it in Grands, mm-hmm. like I feel like I need to step up my game for sure. Uh, no, no offense to Blue Bob, of course. No, no. I just taking... like, I just, I was just screwing up like everywhere. I was making all these mistakes, just screwing up these things that I usually don't. And in like Rambo Ride, man, I was just like sweating bullets. I was too nervous. I, I I'm sure you noticed, but I for lo- one of the log of the bounces, I did like the baby strat because I was just like. I, I, I was um pretty close to um needing a diaper change, I guess to just say that. Yeah, we could tell. We saw the poop leaking out. So I'm glad <laughs> that you patched that up, got a new pair of pampers on. Very important. I am um, well, one one last thing though. I'm I kind of proud of myself for like re entering Rambo Ride and then just going for like glitchy wall kick and landing it like perfectly. And well, yeah, want, we that... thought that was weird that you like switched back and forth. Like, like that, that one time I failed it, I just like killed the Lockety, which is really weird. Like I, I got I got the actual glitchy wall kick, but I'm I'm proud of myself for doing that. Because if I can land glitchy wall kick like that when I'm sweating bullets and I can do it in like any situation really. So it's kind of a confidence booster in a way. Yeah, but it was good stuff. I would I would say my main problem is I, I just like let the nerves get to me. And if I can like Keep myself together in grounds. I think I can win. I think same boat, pretty much. <laughs> well, that's what we'd like to see. Speaking of grand finals, they are coming up next Tuesday yep, at the 23rd. 6 p.m. Yep, 23rd, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern. You won't want to miss it. It is going to be lit, fam. Uh, thank you, Punky. Thank you, Blue Bob, for coming out and playing. It was an incredible race. Really fun to watch. and. Pitt, as always, a pleasure to co-commentate with you. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, also, shout-outs to Blue Esports for helping sponsor the 120 Star Invitational Race. Been doing good things. Look out for Blue Esports. They are on the horizon. And, um, you know, follow our Twitter, Global Speedrun. Follow our channel, Speedrun SM64, Speedrun SMO, twitch.tv slash speedrun. Those are pretty cool. Join our Discord. We talk in there. Uh, our next GSA content is tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST. We have uh, some more of that Super Mario Odyssey World Peace Tournament going on. So if you like the GSA stuff, go check that out. Whoop, whoop. Um, uh, we do have the grand final scheduled for Tuesday, 7 p.m. EST. Uh, we don't have the other semifinal race or bronze match race scheduled yet, but stay tuned for that. We will you know, be showing that on our calendar that you can look out look out for as well. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys then. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, everybody, for the bits and the subs. And we hope that you have a good night. Bye-bye.